I heard once that all people want are two things, love and or power. It's a fairly ambiguous couple of items to want since there is such vast definitions of what constitutes love and power. They don't even have to be separate things as love and power can be interchangeable regarding motivation at times. Sometimes though, the two can come into conflict and that's where great drama can really be born. Hello and welcome to episode 65 of One Man's Opinion, where I review professional theater across Connecticut and New York. Today I am reviewing the revival of David Mamet's American Buffalo, currently running at Circle in the Square at 235 West 50th Street in New York. Directed by Neil Pepe, it stars Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Rockwell, and Darren Criss. I want to get this out of the way immediately. I'm here to discuss whether or not this is a good show, not Mamet's current politics. If you don't want to support anything with his name on it because of some of the controversial things he's said of late, and that's fine. I don't care, I, I and I respect that. Again, that's not why I'm here. Set in a resale shop or kind of like a pawn shop or a junk shop, the place is run by Donnie, played by Fishburne. American Buffalo follows him, Bobby, a young man who isn't exactly the brightest star in the sky, who assists Donnie with odd jobs, played by Darren Criss, and the hot-tempered Teach, played by Sam Rockwell. Donnie is mad because a customer paid $90 for a buffalo nickel that was on display at his shop. Feeling he got gypped in the sale, he hatches a plan with Bobby to break into the buyer's home to steal the nickel back, as well as any other priceless coins the person may have, and sell them to another buyer who's willing to pay premium on it. He doesn't even know the real value of the coin. Based on current rates, depending on the year it was minted and its quality, a buffalo nickel nowadays can go for a couple dollars to several hundred thousand. Teach forces himself into the situation and convinces Donnie that Bobby isn't exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer and that he should be the one to handle the heist. Over the two acts, the three men are never capable of to get past themselves and their own degrees of hubris as they at first planned the burglary and then tried to get the operation going. Egos, greed, self-preservation, and their own hidden motives continually impede what they claim their collective goal is to steal back the nickel. American Buffalo premiered in 1975 at the Goodman Theater in Chicago and this production feels very authentic to the period. Scott Pask's scenic design and Didi Ayate's costume design feels like the show was lifted out of a time machine and dropped right in the middle of the circle of the square. The shop is so littered with miscellany that it's a wonder the three actors in the play are able to get around it all. It's wonderfully designed. The cast is excellent. Fishburne easily exemplifies the authority that has become a hallmark in the roles he's played for decades with Donnie. Rockwell casually spits out Teach's vulgarities that Mamet is known for off the tip of his tongue like it's his own secret language, popping off Teach's anger like a shaken bottle of champagne. Chris is particularly impressive as he plays Bobby with a tender delicacy laced with an acidic bite underneath that can snap at any second. This all plays to intense drama, but none of it can pay off without Pepe's subtle direction of the characters' affections for each other. To some subtle degree, all three men have a brotherly love for each other, with Donnie and Bobby being almost paternal. It's this incomprehensible devotion towards each other and the conflict of greed and power that injects itself into them that ends up being their undoing. The three actors, along with Pepe, understand this. And if this is the intended allegory of American Buffalo, that lust for wealth hidden in something as small as a nickel can drive a wedge between the affections of three of the basest of men, then what more can lust for millions of dollars do to the rest of capitalist societies as ours, then American Buffalo is a rousing success and continues to be a brilliant piece of American theater. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you're interested in seeing American Buffalo, I'll leave a link in the description box. Show your support for my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Click the notification bell to get alerts for future reviews. My next review will be the new Broadway musical, Paradise Square. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the theater.